Hello there, PTCB candidates. This is Ida Schmidt, your PTCB tutor, with another tutorial from PTCB Math Review. And it is on concentrations and dilutions. In this tutorial, we will cover allegations alternate, also known as tic tac toe. What is an allegation? An allegation is a practical method of solving problems related to mixtures of ingredients. It is used to find the amount of each ingredient needed to make a mixture of a given quantity. This formula uses a table in the shape of the tic-tac-toe game. On the top left square, you will enter the initial high strength. On the bottom left square, you will enter the initial low strength. In the middle square, you will enter the wanted strength. On the top right square, write an X. On the bottom right square, write a Y. Next to the X, write the formula. X over X plus Y times total volume is equal to volume of high percent. And on the bottom next to the y, write y over x plus y times total volume equals volume of low percent. Use this formula when you are mixing two different strengths to make a third strength. The formula will help you find the volume of each of the two initial strengths you need to mix and make the third strength. You can also use allegations when you are diluting with water or sludge. So keep in mind that water and sludge are 0%. Since the best way to learn is by practicing, we will do the following problem. An order for 240 ml of a 56% solution has been given. You have a 70% and a 50% solution you need to mix in order to make the 56 percent solution. How much of each do you need in order to make 240 ml of the new strength? Step 1. Identify the following from the problem. Initial strengths, what is the high percent, what is the low percent, the final strength, and the final volume. So the initial strengths are high percent is equal to 70, low percent is equal to 50, your final strength is 56 percent, and your final volume is 240 ml. Step 2. Draw your tic-tac-toe table. This is where you will enter your high percent, your low percent, your wanted percent, your x, and your y just as it is depicted on this picture. Step 3. Fill in the strengths. Under high percent, enter 70. Under low percent, enter 50. Under wanted, enter 56. Step 4. Find the difference between 70 and 56. 70 minus 56 is equal to 14. So you enter 14 in the square where the y is. Step 5. Find the difference between 50 and 56. 56 minus 50 is equal to 6. So you enter the number 6 where the x is. Step 6. Find the volume needed of the 70% solution. You will do this by using the formula x divided by x plus y times the total volume. So if you replace the values of x and y, you get 6 divided by 6 plus 14 times 240 equals 6 over 20 times 240. This equals 0.3 times 240 and this equals 72 ml of the 70% solution. Step 7. Find the volume needed of the 50% solution. You will do this by using the formula y 
divided by x plus y times the total volume. If you replace the values of x and y, you get 14 divided by 6 plus 14 times 240 equals 14 divided by 20 times 240, and this equals 0.7 times 240, and this equals 168 ml of the 50% solution. Step 8. Answer the question. 72 ml of the 70% solution and 168 ml of the 50% solution are mixed to make 240 ml of a 56% solution. Notice that if you add 72 ml plus 168 ml, it equals 240 ml, which is your total volume. Something else that you can get from allegations alternate is how many parts of each strength you need. For example, in this case you have 6 parts of 70% solution and 14 parts of 50% solution. The total parts are 6 plus 14, which is equal to 20 parts. The ratio of 70% solution to 50% solution is 6 to 14. You can reduce the ratio to 3 to 7 by dividing both sides by 2, which would be 6 divided by 2 equals 3, and 14 divided by 2 equals 7. So if in a problem they ask you to find how many parts of each solution you need or the ratio, then you can use allegations alternate to find it. So here is what you did in pictures. You took 72 ml of the 70% solution and you mixed it with 168 ml of the 50% solution to get 240 ml of the 56% solution. Well, there you have it. This concludes another tutorial and I hope that you find this helpful. I would love to hear from you, so please comment on this video and also rate it. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at ptcb underscore tutor at yahoo.com or you can send me a message through the YouTube channel. Have a good one.